Hello, I'm Stefan and I'm a marketing officer here at the National Botanic Garden of Wales. And I'm Abigail and I'm a PhD researcher here at the garden. As an organisation, we aim to be as inclusive as possible and welcome visitors from a range of backgrounds. But one thing that people might not necessarily think of when they think of accessibility is the provision of a native language. As fluent Welsh speakers, we do come across some barriers in everyday life, including within the horticultural industry. And today we're going to talk to you about um, what the Botanic Garden does really well to tackle these issues and also what other organisations can do to play a part. Here at the Garden, through our Education Department and the Growing the Future project, we do provide a whole range of educational and lifelong learning opportunities through the medium of Welsh. We also welcome a variety of school visits here throughout the year, where we do aim to inspire and educate children in their native language. Another thing that we do really well here at the Garden is all of our signs are bilingual. That means that Welsh speakers are treated just the same as English speakers and the provision is there for them if they need it. One thing that you do notice as a Welsh speaker is if you go to tourist attractions across Wales, including gardens, and there's not the signs available in your mother tongue, you don't tend to feel as welcome um, as you should. And why shouldn't your own language be provided for you? Marketing and public engagement is obviously very important to an organisation and attraction such as the Botanic Garden. All of our social media uh, messages and newsletters are sent out in both Welsh and English. We also appear on a variety of Welsh and English language television and radio programmes where we're able to share the garden's developments, projects, news and events to both languages. And it's not just important for uh, Welsh organisations to provide Welsh language services. It's also really, really important that national organisations that provide the horticultural training, online resources and learning opportunities to provide these in all of the native languages that we see in the UK. If we can um, open doors for more young people uh, that might not necessarily have uh, viewed horticulture as for them because it wasn't accessible in their own language, then surely we are accessing talent that we've not been able to previously. The Welsh language is very much alive and isn't going anywhere anytime soon, with the Welsh Government target of reaching a million speakers by the year 2050. Therefore, the more organisations contributing educational resources and learning opportunities through the medium of Welsh will surely help reach this target. Mariaith Gamraag and Vu are Dulnier Athlete.